Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here with Lauren Falco from Destination El Paso. As always, we're here at the El Paso Museum of History. Lauren, there's an amazing exhibition happening. Uh, very bright colored, <laughs> lots of uh, good sound and... Uh, a showcase of good times as well. Tell us, what is it about? So this is Musica Sin Fronteras, 20th century uh, music to now. And so it's really incredible because it shows all of the local artists that are from the region, from El Paso, and the people who have made the music scene in El Paso. Throughout the month of June, it's Pride Month, we're going in. Um, they're going to have a lot of really fun activations, and of course, they're going to have an exhibition. Um, there's going to be the Pride pop-up that is happening right now all through the month of June. Um, it's a really cool like part of history that a lot of people don't know about in El Paso, um, but it's going to be a really fun exhibit. And of course, they're going to do stuff with PFLAG, with organizations throughout town, um, and also they're having like a Pride family day. And speaking of pride, let's get into our events. There's something happening at the zoo. Yeah, so it's become kind of a tradition in the city. Um, Hear Me Roar is a big pride event at the El Paso Zoo. They've partnered with a lot of organizations in town to create this really incredible event. But it's a really fun event that you can go check out the animals, you can do vendors, there's all kinds of stuff. So that's June 8th at the El Paso Zoo. We're also celebrating children this week with a special event. <laughs> we love children. Um, so it's Children's Day at the Gaspar Enriquez Center at UTEP. Um, they're having a really cool Chicano arts uh, exhibit, and they're also going to have your own portrait making. So you can make your own portrait, which is really cool. Um, it's a free event, so go check it out. You can find it at visitelpaso.com on June 8th. One event that is perfect for relaxation, uh, you get to drink some mimosas, and then you get to have a delicious lunch after. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so they're doing yoga and mimosas uh, at the West Star Tower. It's $15 as a donated, um, like a suggestion for donation. Um, and then they're gonna have complimentary mimosas. Right after, there's gonna be a lunch at Shushido downtown. I can never say that. Shushido. Shido, it's hard to say for me. Um, but it's gonna be a really fun event. Again, perfect for relaxation. That's also happening on June. They're gonna do Purple Rain special screening uh, on the big screen at Flick's Brew House on the west side. Um, free slice of cake, come on. Um, and you get to see an incredible movie. Of course, it also just honors Prince in a really cool way. That's happening June 7th um, at Flix. Juneteenth, um, it is the second annual cultural gala for Juneteenth. Um, it's a big celebration that they're gonna hold at the Plaza Theater. It's an incredible celebration, number one, because it's one of the first of its kind in El Paso. Um, and then, of, co of course, it honors a really big, momentous occasion in not only the city, but the, you know, the nation. Uh, you get to dress up, you get to have a nice dinner. Um, our chef at the Plaza Theater is incredible, so definitely go check it out. Um, it is by ticket, of course, so you have to pay for a ticket, but it all goes towards a really great cause. Um, and then, of course, just furthers this cultural standing. Thank you so much, Lauren. Lots of cool events to attend. Also, this awesome, fun exhibition. We'll go browse around as well. Uh, if you need any more information on all the events, tickets and dates, go to visit elpaso.com. It has a brand new website. And of course, we'll see you back here next week.